Merry Christmas to you. Hey guys, welcome back to Vlogmas Day 25. We made it. <gasps> we made it. Y'all, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad at all. It actually made me like want to kind of vlog. Not every day. Not every day. But it made me want to vlog. So, you guys, I need your help. Leave comments down below and give me a thumbs up if you want me to start doing vlogs on my second channel again. Or if you want me to start vlogging at least, I don't know how many days out of the week, but vlogging and putting vlogs on this channel. Let me know if you guys want to see more vlogs. Which channel? This channel or my second channel? Because I do have a second channel and I haven't uploaded on that mug in like a century. Okay, as promised, I'm going to show you guys how I make my seafood boil. It's going to be tiny home style because... Oh, thanks, boo. You got two of them. I only seen one yesterday. I'm going to get all of my ingredients out the refrigerator. I am going to put a time stamp in so that you guys don't have to probably sit here if you just want to get straight to the I don't even know like the nitty gritty I'm going to have a time stamp because it's kind of like a vlogging style obviously um you guys the pie turned out great it turned out so good so good so good so good, so good, so good. So yesterday I went out and actually got all of my seafood and stuff yesterday um, on Christmas Eve. And now I just got to pull everything out and see what I got. Got an onion. So I got to make my sauce. I don't know if y'all want to see how I make my sauce. And I'm pretty sure you're going to want to see how I make my sauce. Uh, let me see. Oh, no. That might be too strong. Okay. Let me see. Let me get everything together. Let me figure out how I'm going to sit y'all. To try to explain all of this and so that you can see. Okay, you guys can see into my pot um, a little better. This is a pressure cooker crock pot. It is this one. It's a power cooker. So, oh snaps, if I don't knock y'all off. So, what I do is turn it on to the slow cooker, and it has a quick, oh, y'all ain't going to be able to see this, but it's a button right here, it says slow cooker, and I put it on quick, so it's two hours. So, now that it's on and popping, I take a can. This is like the big can of Bud Light. Um, it's the big can. <laughs> so what I do while this is like getting warm, I pour the beer inside. And then I add two two waters like so I fill this up twice with water and you guys are probably going to hear the TV or kid talking or whatever like I'm not doing a voiceover I'm not doing that normally I use tap water but I just put all that stuff on my sink 
So I'm gonna use this bottle water that I just bought yesterday, but I normally use tap water. So I'm gonna put this in here. That's one. Fill that up. I'm gonna fill it up again. and throw it inside squeeze the lemon juice inside throw it inside bam then I take this shrimp and crab boil package normally I have a Zatarain's package but they didn't have them at the store and it comes with two little bags and I just plop those in there blop blop now everything else is according to how you want it to taste oh yeah and I put some crab shrimp crab shrimp and crab boil this is like uh it looks like an oil but i'm not sure what this stuff is but it's the zatarans brain you see that so uh i just pour the rest of that in there a little goes a long way with this stuff and then Gotta find my other stuff. Alright, so I got Old Bay. Uh -huh. Okay, so I have Old Bay seasoning, and pretty much I put about a I put about a tablespoon of Old Bay. Is it black stuff? Oh, <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, why are you doing that? Are you making a face? Okay. So I got the Old Bay in there. And I'm going to just let this heat up. And once it heats up. Then I'm going to start adding my other ingredients inside once this gets hot. So you put the lid on there and let it get shimmery. So in the meantime, in between time, I'm gonna get my sauce together. So what's in my sauce? Boom, 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 boom. Ba -da -da -da. Ba -da -da -da. The 
day where we celebrate unity. So I'm gonna put one onion into my sauce. <laughs> I know. Patient monkey, anything more than one day seems like a million. No. Three sticks of butter, but you gotta cook the onions and something. So a stick of butter. That I can't believe is not butter. Uh, this is my first time using. I can't believe it's not butter. Okay, so I put one stick of I can't believe it's not butter in there, and uh, onion. Cause last time I felt like it needed to be more chunkier, and I only put a half of onion in there. But this time I'm gonna put a whole onion and cook it with a stick of butter so just make the onions get brown and then after the onions get brown then we add all of our other ingredients in there okay so the onions are almost done So the onions probably need about like five more minutes or so. So while that's cooking, I'm gonna go over here to the sink and start cleaning off some of my stuff. So I got my towel here, I got my pot here. I don't know what I'm gonna use for my pot, but I got Dungeness crab. Never had Dungeness crab before. Ooh, how do you look like that? Okay. Okay. So never had the Dungeness. The black lady said that this was really good. She said they got a lot of meat in it. She said she prefers this one over the snow crab. So I only got one of these. Yeah, you see this? So the Dungeness crab was it was nine ninety a pound. So this was only seven bucks. It was eight bucks. And then I got red king crab. Um and that one was twenty four dollars a pound, twenty five dollars a pound. So this one leg was 12 bucks. They, their seafood was super ugly over there. Like you see how the other one was all smooth? And then I got some crawfish. I don't know about them yet. I don't want to open them yet. I got some shrimp. I ain't gonna put those in there yet. And then I got snow crab. Yep. Snow crab, yeah. I just wanted to taste the Dungeness crab because I know you're gonna go get them. She liked it, the Dungeness crab? Yeah, she'd prefer, she'd prefer the Dungeness crab over snow. See? You see how little these are? Snow. This one's the Dungeness. You see how big it is? Mm -hmm. This one's the King. In the sink? Well, I need... My phone is dead. 
That's why I got my camera recording everything, but... Okay, so now my onions are done. So let me bring y'all back over here. Um, can you press mute on this TV? So, I can't bend you guys down any lower, but they're done. So now I'm going to add the other ingredient, which is... Wow, you almost ate that up, didn't you? So, it's pickled ginger. Pickled sweet ginger? It's not pickled sweet ginger, it's pickled ginger. It's sweet though. So, I'm going to add the rest of this in here. I don't go that container, I'll use that. What's up? Don't even see. Stir that around. I'm going to turn my fire down some. Needed a little bit more ginger in there, but it's okay. So, now for the spices. So, we're going to add probably a half a cup of brown sugar. This is, all of this is just according to what you want it to taste like. So... Just keep that in mind. So, like I said, a half a cup of brown sugar. Yeah. Yeah, that's a half a cup. Half a cup of brown sugar. We're going to do lemon pepper. First, lemon pepper. Okay. So, lemon pepper. Uh, I will do one, two. Three spoons of lemon pepper, like literally spoons, and then I do a spoon of paprika. No, a half a spoon of paprika. And then a spoon of ginger powder. And I need, okay, and then because I don't like my stuff super spicy, um, I only put like just a smidget of cayenne pepper in there, but I don't like spicy stuff, so if y'all like it spicier, put more cayenne pepper, but I literally put just a smidget. I don't know, that was probably like one of them little small teaspoons. Like, it's just for taste. So, stare that around. See what that looks like. And now I'm going to add another stick of butter. 
And like I said, this is I can't believe it's not butter. This is my first time making it with this because my stomach was a little bit too greasy with the regular butter. So, stare that around. Yes, I'm staring it with a knife. I think my water is heated up enough because it's been over here sitting for 25 minutes. So now I'm going to just let all of these ingredients marinate together and then I'm going to taste it after a while just to make sure it's right. So that was only two sticks of butter. You see all this sauce we got up in here? So let that simmer on low heat to let all the little juices marinate. But if you want this sauce to taste real good, you should make it the day before. But I always just be tripping myself. And I don't make it that far. But it's okay though. Okay, so this is ready. So I'm going to add the shrimp in there. First, I gotta clean the shrimp off. Yeah, so that's that's ready. That's hot. That's real hot. Actually, I gotta add my sausage. This is my first time putting sa um, sausages in my gumbo. I mean, in my boil. It's my first time doing that. So, let's get the sausages cut open. Sausage? You get the sausage. Cut this bad boy open. I do have a cutting board, but I'm going to just use this. I don't like to try to dirty up a lot of dishes. Okay. Oh Lord. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna just cut it very gently so I don't cut none of the plastic up. So I'm gonna just cut it in these little squares. No, that ain't no square. I don't know what that shape is. It's a little circle. Boom. No mess. So now the sauce is done. And now we gotta work on the boil. But Jelly Bean is sleepy. So... I have to go and put him to sleep but I just put the sausage in there and I'm gonna put him to sleep wash my hands and then um, I gotta put the shrimp in there okay Adam Adding the shrimp. And then get the corn. Hold on. What does that timer say over there? It says 119. Okay, so adding the shrimp and the corn in almost 45 minutes after I turned on the crock pot. So we're going to let that cook. 
and then I'll be back. So you guys, that is how you make seafood boil in a crock pot. It's completely done. I already showed you guys us eating for Thanksgiving. So that's all I do. And I mean, I microwave the potatoes. So here are the potatoes right here. Microwave the potatoes. Um, depending on how many potatoes you have, I just microwave them maybe like 15 minutes or stick a fork into them to see if they get soft. 
or yeah until they're soft and then um i got the cornbread cooking so it takes two hours to cook the seafood boil in the crock pot um yeah okay come here son 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 come here come here Come here. Look at Maggie. Come here. Come on. Come on. Good job. I don't want him by the door. Good girl. Yeah, so that's how you make a seafood boil in a crock pot or a cr pressure cooker. You okay? You coming? Hold on. Good job. Wow. <laughs> Good job, love book. Good job. Okay. Let's see. All right, look what his shirt says. My first words will be mommy. One of um, the natural, naturally marked rain gang gang. Oh, he wants to get down. He's trying to run around. Gave him this shirt. It's so cute. But yeah, you guys, that will complete this video. I just want to say thank you guys for subscribing, giving thumbs up, for your support, for your kind words, and your comments. And Merry Christmas and thanks for all the Christmas wishes. And don't forget to let me know if you guys still want me to do vlogs. Like, throw a couple of vlogs in there with some of my hair videos. So, thank you guys once again. And the pie was good. I'll show you guys the pie tomorrow. I'll probably just finish out the month of December. I don't know if it'll be every day, but I don't just want to drop y'all cold turkey. Because today is Friday. Yeah, I don't want to drop y'all cold turkey, but I'll show y'all the uh I'll show y'all the pie before this month is over. But the pie is good. There's only two left. Two pies left. So I'm gonna stop rambling. We're gonna get our food into our bellies and enjoy each other. No, don't bite my pants. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>